Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about my perfume favorites for the month of October. Um, these are the perfumes that I've worn most for last month. And I can't believe we're in November already. It's getting closer to Thanksgiving. And it's crazy how time just flew by. Really grateful to be here with you guys. And I know I've had quite a few new subscribers. Welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. Welcome back. Thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and activate that notification bell. And without further ado, let's see what these perfumes are. So this first one is Mon Parfum from the house of M. Mikalev. And this is such a stunning fragrance. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this bottle. We cannot ignore the bottle. The design is amazing. It has the jewels, it has the little crystals going around. And this bottle is just so luxurious looking. This fragrance has orange flower, passion fruit, vanilla, patchouli, toffee, and musk. This is a gourmand. This is a very sweet and delicious scent. Yet it's very sexy. The patchouli gives it that edge, that playfulness, that punchiness. This is very reminiscent of Mugler's Angel. Yes, it, it does give me that angel vibe. However, this one is a lot more elevated this doesn't have the chocolate note. Um, this has a very refined type of patchouli, not like the dirty patchouli that you get in the Angel. Even in the toned down version, this is more elevated, more refined, more well blended, I feel like. It's, it's a beautiful, gourmand, sexy fragrance, and I've been enjoying this a ton last month. The next one I've been loving is the Gucci Guilty Absolute. And this one is a newer acquisition to my collection. And this is just fall in the bottle, holidays in the bottle. This has notes of blackberry, pink fur. This has Bulgarian rose, cypress. There's woody notes, amber, patchouli. It's, it reminds me of being in the woods. It smells like a pine tree with berries surrounding you and it's just like a very earthy and delicious and just beautiful scent this leans unisex this could be worn by a man it has um more of that unisex vibe to it it's not like a very feminine scent but it's so beautiful and intoxicating and on cold days i loved wearing this i really enjoyed this last month my next one is from the House of Kerosene, and this is Unknown Pleasures. And this is a delicious tea and waffles fragrance. Oh gosh, this is intoxicating. This is very strong. I'm not gonna spray it right now because it's gonna fill the room and I'm not gonna be able to smell the other fragrances. I can smell this all day long. This has been keeping me warm and cozy on those really cold days. For a great tea, this is lemon, this is waffle, this is caramel. And you feel like you're having tea with a waffle and caramel is dripping down this waffle. And the scent is just unreal. And I've loved this scent so much. I've enjoyed it thoroughly last month. The next scent I've been enjoying is Chagui from the House of Serge Latans. And this is really a quintessential fall winter fragrance. This has notes of tobacco, honey, hay. Yes, I said hay. <laughs> Sounds funny. You don't smell horses or anything affiliated with hay or any like barn animal. This is a sweet, clean type of hay. There's also sandalwood in this, which gives it a beautiful creaminess. The tobacco leaf smells 
like a very sweet tobacco leaf, not the kind that's being smoked in a pipe. It's a very gentle, sweet tobacco. Uh, this also has iris and musk. And it's such a gorgeous, decadent, rich type of scent. It's rich, it's dark, it's a little mysterious. I have been wearing this a lot. This keeps me warm and cozy in the cold day. This next one is also a newer acquisition to my collection, and this is the Le Turnbit Intense by Givenchy. This fragrance is all about the two bros, and it has orange blossom, it has sesame seeds, rich, it's smooth. And this also has beautiful vanilla on the dry down, and it's a mysterious, rich, deep type of fragrance. It sits on the skin beautifully. I can't stop smelling my wrist every time I'm wearing this. It's intoxicating. I have been enjoying this, especially in the evenings. This next one is Nishane Ani. And this is such a beautiful vanilla. This is very spicy in the opening. It's extremely spicy. You really get hit with that pepper, ginger. It also has green notes, it has black currant, it has carnation rose. And this is one of the most beautiful interpretations of vanilla that I have laid my nose on. This is stunning. The dry down is where the magic happens. This is comforting, it's warm, it's creamy, it's decadent. It's a gorgeous vanilla scent. I have been really enjoying this one. Nishane Ani. This next one I have here is from the same house and this is Nishane 100 Silent Ways. And this is a fruity floral vanilla scent. This has tuberose, it has peach, there's orange, there's gardenia, there's jasmine and Fruity notes are blended so beautiful, beautifully and the vanilla in here is sweet, it's delicate, it's delicious. This is such a beautiful scent. This is incredible. I have been wearing this a lot during cold days and we've had quite a few cold days. I've been rocking this and I absolutely adore this house. My first purchase is from the house of Nishane and I think they're both so beautiful. I sometimes layer them together. They're a masterpiece in their own way. We've come to the end of this video and I'm so happy to have you with me. Thank you so much for watching, for joining me and I hope to see you back here soon. Take care.